Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and hello new haircut, nice to meet you. I thought I'd film standing up today because I always sit down and I feel like it cages my personality slightly. So now I can do things like this, and this, and this. Oh, I'm dizzy now, maybe I shouldn't do that. So for this week's video I thought I'd do something that is so relevant to me right now, I'm literally living it, and that is how not to give yourself spots. There is a difference between giving yourself spots and being acne prone. Normally when you're acne prone, you tend to get spots just from being maybe hormonal or like changes in your body, stress, but in this video today, I'm going to be talking to you about things that you can do consciously to not give yourself spots on purpose. Like there are things that you consciously do that give you spots and you know they give you spots but you kind of do them anyway. I know that I do this out of just pure laziness or just by accident. Either way, I could live my whole life without doing these things and I'd like to share them with you so that you don't do them too. I have my little list here of things that I'm going to talk about today. Hopefully I'll actually read it and then remember to tell you everything I've written down. I myself suffer really badly from acne on my face, also on my neck here, on my jawline as well at the moment. I get a lot of acne too, it's just not cute. But the main place I get spots is on my chin right here. I went onto Google and typed in, what do my spots mean? <laughs> and I read quite a few things, loads of different things came up. But the main thing that I saw, it was kind of like a Chinese skin map or something, which said you get spots on different type of your face to signify different things that you're feeling or doing. So for example, I can't remember exactly what they said. I think on your forehead it said you get spots from stress on your cheeks as well. But the main one for me, which I was looking up was why do I get spots on my chin? And they said it was from poor, diet. So my first piece of advice is avoid your trigger foods. Some of you may already know what I'm talking about but if you don't then you obviously have a trigger food and you just don't know what it is yet. For me my trigger food is one that I always eat when I'm hungover and that is Mackey D's. I know this is my trigger food because the next day or even in a matter of a few hours after I've eaten it I start to get raging cystic acne on my chin and occasionally I get them on my forehead as well but I still eat McDonald's anyway because my hangover brain is like I want a cheeseburger so if you have a food that you know about that you eat and it makes you go really spotty you kind of know what you've got to do. Also, I'd say don't drink fizzy drinks because that's another one of my triggers. I never drink fizzy drinks. There are just so many things in those that just completely screw you up inside. Not to mention the amount of sugar and how fizzy they are. But the main thing that they say whenever you Google, how do I get rid of my spots, is stop drinking fizzy drinks. So the next thing on my shambly list is make sure your skin's clean. Now this is probably a no brainer, but for a long time I was not actually cleansing my skin properly because I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. Okay, never mind. For a long time I was only ever using face wipes to remove my makeup, which was not enough. Obviously face wipes are not supposed to be that good for you, they're all chemically and whatnot, but I find that they're just easy to get the bulk of my makeup off first. But then when you go in with cleanser afterwards, you actually see how much makeup you haven't taken off, and I was kind of like, holy shit, no wonder I'm such a pizza face. So if you're using face wipes, make sure you go in with a face wipe, then use a cleanser. I would say maybe don't go over it once, go over it at least twice, to make sure you get rid of all of the makeup that's on your skin. And if you don't feel like that's enough, you can go in and wash your face afterwards with a facial wash just to make sure that all of your makeup is gone but if you are suffering from acne at the time just go in and wash your face with a facial wash it only takes like two minutes just to be on the safe side on to the next this is a thing that I used to do all the time and still kind of do out of habit but I am trying my best to not do it and that is picking at your face I used to do this when I was wearing makeup which is terrible I'd see a spot and I'd be like that one's ready to pop and it would be like the middle of the day where I couldn't take my makeup off or anything. I knew full well what I was doing. I'd be like squeezing away at it until it popped and then I'd just leave it. Firstly, popping your spots can cause scarring. Secondly, if you're wearing makeup, it can cause infections, therefore making the spot that you've got even worse. And then thirdly, popping a spot and leaving it open invites all the little bacteria in there to make it even worse so it's a nice, bigger, juicier spot the next time you look at it. So if you are gonna pop your spots, make sure whatever you're popping it with is clean, whether it be your nails or one of these things which I don't know the name of. Once you've popped the spot to your satisfaction, make sure you clean the area and then pop an antiseptic cream over the top because then hopefully it will heal better. So the last piece of advice I have for you to try and prevent giving yourself spots is to avoid cross-contamination. This is something that I always used to do. I didn't even realize I was doing it. I don't think other people realize they're doing it either. But imagine this. So you've sat down with a clean face about to apply your makeup and you're just having a little inspection. So you're looking around your face and you see a nice, juicy, poppable spot 
right on your forehead here and you think oh my god I can't wait to pop that I'm gonna pop it right now so you give it a little squeeze and it pops and all the like spot juice comes out of it and it's all over your fingers great I'm glad it's over it's gone now it's flat I can carry on starting to do my makeup so if you're like me and you have to mix three different foundations because your skin tone is weird as shit you get your finger and you mix all that foundation together. Use your finger to dab it on your face and then you either use your fingers to apply the foundation or you get your brush and you dab it against the back of your hand and start to rub all over your face. So you make sure to go over the area where you pop the spot just to make sure it's well covered and then you carry on buffing all over your face. First thing that's wrong with that is you've just popped the spot before you've even started doing your makeup. Yeah, the area was clean but now it's technically an open wound. Also, you pop the spot with your fingers and you didn't wash your hands afterwards. You just went straight in to mixing the foundation. Then you went in with your infected finger wiping that foundation all over your face and then you take that brush that you're going to use to buff your foundation into your skin and dab it into the foundation or buff out all the foundation that you've just applied with that finger all over your face. So now you have a foundation that's infected, a brush that's infected, an infected foundation all over your face. Do you now see where I'm going with this? You've basically got a whole face of infection now. Also a lot of concealer ones are a hot spot for bacteria as well. A lot of the time when you want to conceal a spot you get that little wand applicator out and you dab directly onto where the spots are and if you're dabbing onto a spot that you've just popped you're then directly putting that wand onto the open bacteria wound you're then putting that infected wand back into the tube and then that whole tube of concealer is now infected which you then go and use the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and you sit there and think why am I so spotty? that's why. So there you have it, that was my list of things you can do to prevent giving yourself spots. I hope you found this video slightly insightful or you just sit back and think, I show you're an idiot, I can't believe you did any of those things. <laughs> if you do suffer really badly from acne and you have used all the washes, the scrubs, the creams, I'd recommend going to see your doctor and having a little chat with them about it because it may be something to do with your hormones, which is something that can't be fixed with most creams or stuff that you can buy in the shops or over the counter. I myself do take medication for my skin and have done for at least four years now and I have to say it's the best thing I ever did. I do still get spots now but they're not anywhere as near as bad as what they used to be because I suffer from cystic acne and that's a bit different from just pimples and blackheads. But yes, if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do try to make videos every week, sometimes they are later than others, like last week, I do apologise for that, I'm very sorry. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you have a fabulous week and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye!